All right, welcome to part five of the missile launch. If you haven't noticed, uh, there's no way to restart our game when you get to the game over screen, when the energy meter is up. So we're going to add in a restart button, and we're also going to add some difficulty to our level. We're going to speed up the enemy as you get a higher score. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is open up our design editor, and you're going to go under the basic palette and grab a button and put it next to the fire button and this is going to be our restart button so go ahead and rename it the restart button and for the text go ahead and type in restart and go ahead and select a text color All right. once you have that button in place go ahead and open up your blocks editor and under my blocks you're going to want to find the restart button select the one that says when the restart button is clicked do this okay so we're going to make things visible and invisible using this restart button first thing we want to do is get rid of our game over label so we can copy this game over label dot visible and we want to set, set the visibility to false that way we no longer see the game over label. We want the energy label and the game canvas to be visible, so I'm going to copy these. We'll set the energy level canvas visibility to true, and we're going to set the game canvas visibility to true. That way both of those things will appear as if we're starting a new game. Uh, we, we need to reset our energy level, so under my blocks and my definitions, you want to select the one that says set global energy to, and you're going to set it to its original amount, which was 200 pixels. So you can go ahead and copy and paste, control C, control V, copy and paste, and put that number in there. We're also going to call the display energy procedure to happen so that'll also be found under my definitions call display energy and we're also going to reset the score to zero so under the score value make sure you select score value not score label we're going to set the score value dot text to zero so we can copy this number block and change the value of it zero. And then the last thing we want to do is once we click the restart button we want it to go away and be invisible. So we'll go to and we'll go to restart button set the restart visibility to and we want it to be false. And then under game over when the game over procedure comes up we want the restart button to be visible so we can click on it. So let's copy and paste the restart button dot visibility and let's change it to true. Okay. And once we have that, we should be able to go to our emulator, click restart, and we should be able to restart our game. And there we have it. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is set up some difficulty to our game. We're going to make the enemy go faster. So we need to set up a procedure to do that. So what we need to do is go to built-in definitions and you want to grab this second procedure right here. And let's go ahead and name it speed up enemy. And what we want it to do, we're going to use a if test then do. So, under control, we'll do if test then do. And we want it to test the score value. So, under my blocks, you're going to go to score value. And we'll get the one that says score value dot text. And we're going to get the uh, greater than sign. So that'll be under math. 
you'll get the greater than sign. And let's say if the score is greater than 10. So we can go ahead, if you haven't tried this, you can hit the space bar and that'll bring up a little thing where you can select like numbers or a different option. And that'll bring in a number block and we can set that to 10. Otherwise you can just go to math and number, but it's a shortcut. All right, so the, if the score is greater than 10, let's go ahead and let's um, speed up the clock interval. So if you remember, your enemy, you should have an enemy clock here, and the timer interval is set to go off every second. So 100 or 1,000 milliseconds, which is every second. So right now he's moving every second. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that, when the score gets greater than 10, we're going we're gonna to speed it up. So let's go ahead and go to math and get the subtraction sign here. And we'll go to my blocks, and we want to go to the enemy clock. And we want to find the one that says set enemy clock dot interval to. And it's the last one set enemy clock dot interval to and we're going to take the value of that interval and subtract a number from it so you want to get the block that says enemy clock dot timer interval and I'll move this down so we can see it and let's go ahead and let's subtract say 10 from that Okay, so once we create a procedure, the call button will be under my blocks, my definitions. So when you go up there and you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see it. It'll say call speed up enemy. Um, so basically as the missile hits the, uh, in the alien, we want it to call this procedure to happen. So let's go find that. So enemy collided with, when the enemy collides with the missile, let's add this procedure to happen. And you can go ahead and test it out. So as you get up there, and you can adjust it. So once you get to that, you could take this, copy and paste it, you could increase the amount that it subtracts so if you wanted to speed it up faster you could put in say like 50 and change this number to say when it gets above 20 then it's gonna also do this and it'll multiply these amounts and uh, basically once you have those set up you could go I don't know 40 50 for this number here you could copy it like four or five times make your game it's your game so you could add it uh, basically create it however you'd like but you want to have a speed up enemy procedure in there and you want it to be called okay once you have that you'll be done with part five